you would think this animal is completely dead. I knew if I didn't get that little guy out of that trench, he was going to die from exposure. Basically, mammals, they get caught in the trenches that they dig out here, and they're building roads and also building pipelines. As it gets freezing cold out in the desert, these animals go into a state of torpor. Now, it's basically like a deep sleep that they do, basically to conserve energy and stay warm. But shows just about no signs of life at all. And most people would just presume that was a dead animal. Now I'm going to show you how we get these guys back to life. So step one of getting this little guy back to life is to heat him back up again. So we've got him in front of the heater here in the car. You'll notice as I start to warm him up, he'll start to move around. Get a little bit of body warmth back into him. So this little guy would never normally be caught out in the open like this, it's only because he's fallen in the trench. And once he started to wiggle around, I knew he was okay. Oh, hello. Good morning. Getting a hot bum, are ya? A little hot-ass mouse. So now he's starting to get a bit of heat in him. I'll pop him in a bag and put him somewhere where he's not going to stress out. And then normally when I get him out for release, he's all awake and alert. And he'll just hop off. Always release them exactly where you got them from, so they know the area, and they know where their burrows are. Wakey wakey, come on mate. All right, I'll pop him away now, and then we'll get him out for the release. And I put him into a little bag where he sat for the rest of the day until the sun started to set so I could release him. Right now we have the release of our little Spitafix Hoppy Mouse. You can see now it's alert and awake. Get it out of the sun. For me, this mouse is a part of nature. And nature is one of the most amazing things that we all have. Nature's for us all to enjoy. Beautiful. That's why I fight to protect it. Like, comment, and subscribe.